My first obsession after animals was then the Rolling Stones, and then I became obsessed with Anita Pallenberg. And I just thought she was the most beautiful, stylish, kind of fascinating person. And then I, I saw this picture of her on the cover of a newspaper and, and then I saw performance and, you know, she was really someone, and I still do refer to, I think, would she wear it? You know, because she had, she had real class. She had an amazing eye. I mean, the way she wore things was like nobody had done that. She would mix things like evening wear with denim. I mean, everyone does that now, but no one did that then. And then um, when I lived in Rome, someone introduced me to her. And I remember I was sitting outside the Pantheon and then someone tapped me and said, this is Anita. And then we became friends. And then um, when I moved back to London, we, we spent a lot of time together, especially in the 90s. And there was just one time, I don't know why we were talking about chow, but I couldn't remember how to spell it. And she went, oh, it's like this. And she drew that on this yellow envelope. And it, and I've got that. I have that on my desk. And then I, I like the word chow because it just is multi. You know, it's one of those universal words and, uh, and it looks good. And so that's where that came from. It's like she's with me, you know, and I often think about her and refer to her in my head. And her legacy is powerful.